Hello guys, welcome to the next session of developing e-commerce application from scratch using Angular and Spring Boot. In the last session, we discussed on how we can create one Angular form so that we can register new user into our e-commerce application. Now, we have previously discussed like what are the different features that we are going to implement in upcoming sessions. So among these register the users, this particular feature is completed. The next feature that we are going to work on is pagination for uh, products on a home page. So we have already discussed like what is the feature is all about, but just let me give you uh, a quick overview of it. So on the home page currently what we are doing is we are just currently uh, fetching all the product details and we are just showing it on to the home page. So as of now we have uh, 10, 20 products. So that is the reason it is working perfectly fine and we are able to get the expected performance. But let's suppose what if we have more than 1000 products or 2000 products uh, at a single time in a system. So what it will just do is it will just try to fetch all the 1000 uh, products into the uh, into a one shot and then it will try to render all these 1000 products on a home page. But I think rendering like such a big amount of products uh, in a single shot is a not a good idea. So that is the reason what we are going to do is we are going to implement a pagination. So how, so how we are going to do is on the home page initially maybe we are going to load um, 10 or 20 products in a, in a one shot. And then uh, let's suppose if user scrolls down then we will give one button that is load more products. So whenever user will click on the button then uh, you then uh, we will fetch next 10 or 20 products so whatever amount that we decide so we are going to load that much product uh, on a button click so this is how we are going to implement the pagination so again to implement the pagination we have to write some code at the back end and we have to write some code at the ui side so let's see how we can first of all implement changes in the back end and then we will come back to the ui maybe in the next session so let me just take you to the intellij first and over here previously we created one endpoint that is called as a get all products. So let me just go to the controller and let me just go to the product controller. So in a product controller, we have one API that is called as a get all products. So this API will return you all the products, like whichever number of products you have in a database, it will return you all those products. So now what we want is we want to implement the pagination. So Again, Spring Boot itself helps a lot to implement the pagination in the uh, like in, in, in the application. So let me just go to the uh, product service get all product function or method. So let me just go to the implementation of it. So now inside a product service, we have again get all products. So over here, what we have to do is there is one interface that we have to use. And that is one that is uh, the name of that interface is pageable. So let me just use pageable. Now over here we have three different options for the pageable. So we have first one from java.awt.print and similarly we have um, like org.springframework.data.domain and then we have such a long name like org.springframework. So we have three different variations. So the variation that we have to use is uh, org.springframework.data.domain. So we have to use this one. Now you can just give any name. So let me just give pageable itself and then is equals to what we have to do is we have to just use page request. So page request again that comes from org.springframework.data.domain. And now there is one method that is called as a off. Now over here, this particular off method takes two different parameters. So first one is we have to give the page number and comma. The second second uh, parameter that we have to give is we have to give the number of products that we want to fetch. So I just want to fetch 10 number of products. That is the reason I'm just giving the 10. And now what we have to do is we have to just go to the find um, uh, all method. So if we, if I just click on the find all, so as of now, there is only one method, uh, like in the CRUD repository, we have the find all method and there is no any method which takes the pageable as an argument. So we have only find all method, which doesn't take any argument in the CRUD repository. So what we have to do is we have to create our own custom method so that we can use the pageable uh, 
uh, our pageable with that custom method so how we can do this again it is really very simple what you can just do is you can just maybe i'll just uh, uh, i'll just show you the method or way that i use i just do is what i just do is i just copy the pageable and i just paste it over here now over here it is giving us the error so what we can just do is we can just go over this error and now you will get this suggestion like create method find all in a product dao so product dao we are using product dao over here so what it will just do is IntelliJ will ask you whether you want to create a new method in a product DAO. So what I just do is I just click on the create method and it will automatically uh, create the method on behalf of us. So this is how I basically um, uh, use the IntelliJ and its functionalities to save my time. But as of now, let me just do the control Z maybe and let me just come over here and let me just remove this pageable from it so that uh, if someone is beginner they they should also get to understand what we have to do so what we have to do is we have to just go to the product dao over here what we can just do is we can just write public and list so as of now we can just keep it as a maybe void and then what we have to do is find all we can just use find all so we are not going to find by id or we are not going to uh, use any kind of filter criteria we are just going to find all and then what we have to do is we have to just pass a pageable so we have to just pass pageable something like this and now this find all will obviously will return us the list of different products so that is the reason what we have to do is we have to just use return type as a list of products something like this and now our method is ready so the next thing that we have to do is we have to just come back to our service and then what we have to do is we have to just now uh, pass the pageable to our find all and it will uh, work perfectly fine and now we are done with these and uh, now let me just go to the controller so as of now we can just avoid any changes in a controller and we can just restart the application let's see how it will uh, behave and uh, how it looks like so let me just to test this let me just go to the let me just go to my home page and let me just try to refresh this i'm not sure whether it will work on the home page or not so yes here it is working so we have almost 15 products in our application but as of now it is currently loading only 10 products on the home page now uh, to understand it more like what we can just do is we can just reduce the size page size to the five and let's see how it looks like uh, whether it is uh, loading the five uh, only five products or not so let me restart it and now let me just go to the home page again and refresh it and now if you just see it is loading only the five products if you just see and now uh, one more thing that i just want to explain is the page size basically matters so as of now uh, not not a page size but this page number basically matters a lot so what it will just do is it will initially load five um, products from the database if you just increase the page size like uh, increase the page number to one so it will just load next five products so as of now if you just see we have the product combo one two three four five and now let me just restart the application Let's see whether it loads a different products or not and how it basically behaves. Now, if I just go and refresh, then you will be able to see that we are now uh, loading the next five products like product six, seven, eight, nine and uh, nine. So it, here it is the duplicate product that I have added, but here it is loading the next five products. So the meaning is page size, basically page number basically starts from zero and page size is the number of products that you want to load in a one shot and you can just increase the page size so this is how it basically works now what we want is we just don't want uh, to use uh, like hard coded uh, numbers let me just make it as 10 again and we just don't want this page number to be hard coded instead we just want to take it from the ui so how we can just do is we can just use the query parameter so what we have to do is we have to just use int page number you can just add a you can just add a like um, any any variable name 
and then what we have to do is we have to use one annotation that is called as a request param so request param we have to use and then we have to give a default value to the zero so we have to give the default value to the zero something like this and the next thing that we have to do is we have to just change uh, we have to just check this product uh, check this page number and we can just pass it to our uh, product service dot get all products now obviously it will just give us the error so what we can just do is we can just go to this product service and get all products so we can just add one parameter over here that is page number again something like this and whatever page number we will receive we are just going to pass it instead of the hard coded one and now everything will look like perfectly fine now let me just restart the application and let's see uh, how it behaves and this time uh, let me first of all try to check it from the uh, ui from our angular ui and let me just refresh it it will again load the so it is right now it is loading uh, the 10 products because we have changed the page uh, like we have changed a size to the 10 so that is the reason it is uh, loading the 10 products now again uh, i just wanted to show you how it uh, basically works and next time what we have to do is we have to just uh, change this particular uh, yeah so next time uh, whenever we will be requesting from our angular ui we just want to pass this query parameter and we just have to uh, you know uh, pass this page size as well or page not a page size page number as well so here whenever user will click on that load more button we have to uh, pass the page number so for this i'll just show you how we can do this from the postman so that if you want some basic idea you will just get to know how we can use it so from the postman what we have to do is we have to just use our localhost 9090 slash get all products and we can just give a question mark and then we have to just give a parameter name which is page number and then we can just give a value as make like whatever value we want initially we want a zero so we can pass zero so this is how we can just pass it and then our request is get request so we can just keep it as it is and now let me just uh, click on the send button so what it will just do is it will just initially load the uh, like first 10 products then we can just increase the page number we can just make it as a one and let me just as of now you can just keep remember like what is the product id as of now it product id is one so whenever i'm just clicking on the send button let's see what happens and now if you just see the next 10 products are retrieved which is like if you just see like product id is nothing but a 43 as of now so it is fetching the next 10 products so this is how it will work on so i hope you got an idea around this like how we can use the uh, pagination in our uh, with the help of spring boot it is really very simple we it is just a matter of understanding the pageable and it is just matter of understanding these two parameters so if you understand these two parameters you will get every single thing that you want into a pagination so in the next session, we will see how we can implement these changes in our Angular UI as well. And we will just complete uh, this second um, feature that we are working on. So I hope you enjoyed this session and I'll see you in the next session.